My name's Malin and in this video I wanted to talk about consistency over perfection and this idea of slow growth. With social media and kind of society how it works at the moment we have a lot of kind of ideas that kind of push us to do more, to be more and to do a lot more things and you know we look online and we have all these comparisons with these people that are doing all these crazy things you know tight tight roping doing like a tight rope across a cliff or you know people that are like crazily muscular that have been taking steroids and that sort of stuff that's a whole other topic and all these ideas of how people should look and people doing these crazy and amazing things all the time and then we kind of see our lives and we go out in the world and then it's like oh the real world isn't really like the online world and that's because on the online world what gets attracted is drama and the extremes and this has kind of fed this underlying belief that it's kind of all or nothing you either get it or you don't and there's like no kind of in between no gray area and it's very hard to jump from one end all the way to the other because of course it is like if you're at one end of something if you're like dirt poor it's completely it's so hard to become a billionaire, but those are the stories and the things that are pushed towards us. So this idea of consistency over perfection, rather than wanting everything to be perfect, wanting to have all these kind of things, just focus on doing consistently the things that are going to get you there. And you'll find that life isn't as crazy or as, as bad as it really seems like. I've been caught in this kind of social media trap and felt like I had to do so much self-help and that kind of thing and do all these things and do the extreme and chase success and that kind of thing. But it was really just a compensation because I had kind of low self-esteem and a big ego and I felt like I had to do so much to overcome everything and that that would make me feel better. And kind of ironically, what made me feel better was just to kind of accept that I don't feel great. You know, rather than denying and suppressing those feelings, they're always going to be there just because you push them away, you push them aside, doesn't mean that they're going to disappear. They're still lying there dormant. And so eventually, <laughs> after much banging my head against a brick wall, so to speak, I found that the way forward was just to do it consistently and not worry about perfection, just to fuck things up. Like with this YouTube channel, I just started recording. I just keep doing it even though it's not perfect and video by video I kind of get better and as time goes on I get better ideas and I hope that I'm, my message is coming across better and that you know I'm actually affecting people a bit more and it's these little things that all add up and compound you know like it's going to take I've talked about this before like our, all of our past habits and beliefs have been built up over years and years so it's going to take even more years to build us out of that. And so with that in mind, we have to think, well, do I want to be, how am I going now? Like, are you really continuing those things? Are you really going to stick to this crazy diet that you're trying to go on to? Are you really going to stick to this workout plan? Because if you're not, there's no point doing it because you're just going to slide back and forth like you've been doing all this time and I've done it. I've wasted years and years doing this back and forth, back and forth, and it hasn't really ended me up anywhere or with anything. And so that's why consistency is way more important than perfection, because if you're doing things over and over again, then you're getting better at it. And as you get better at it, you get more feedback from it and you feel better about it because you're doing better. And then these things start to grow and accumulate. And it's like planting a seed and watering it every day and watching the tiny leaves sprout. And then all of a sudden it's becoming this bigger and bigger tree. And then over time, it's like this big tree and then you've got this whole forest and garden that you've tended to which is your life so that's the importance of consistency and not being so worried about perfection thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video